How you doing? Mr. DJ's back. Going to resume counting down WJRD's top 11 plus 50 survey of October 31st, 1966. Going to cut a few videos tonight, so let's go ahead and get started. It is, it is the wee hours of a very cold morning here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The date is January 5th, 2017. It is at freezing outside right now. And we're under a winter storm watch on Friday. Yes, it does snow in Alabama, believe it or not, if you're watching this video from up north. But uh, let's go. Now, uh, this this WJRD Top 11 Plus 50 survey, I'm counting it down, October 31st, 1966. You see all the check marks of the songs that I've already covered. Lots of great Lost 45s on this thing. Can't wait to get to this next Lost 45. Up to number 13. Well, actually... Uh, I've got to do a little bit better by Joe Tex. I've already made a video to that song when I counted down another uh, playlist. So I'm going to jump to number 12 on this survey. Uh, you don't have to paint me a picture by Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Yes, one of my favorite bands. <laughs> yes, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Yeah, give me some more of that Gary Lewis and the Playboys. ACDC is all right, but give me a little bit of that Gary Lewis and the Playboys. That's right. Nothing wrong with little Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Never heard anything. Let me tell you something. Never did. Doesn't hurt a damn thing. Gary Lewis, the Playboys, uh, their song was produced by uh, Snuff Garrett, known as Snuffy behind the scenes, and uh, Leon Russell, who arranged all their records. Gary Lewis, the Playboys, This Diamond Ring, which went to number one, that was in the winter of 64, 65, and they count me in in the spring of 65. Now, this was crucial for Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Uh, the story goes that when uh, Snuff Garrett, the producer, he told these guys, Gary Lewis and the Playboys, he said, you guys can't feel good. You guys can't feel uplifted because you got a number one record. Because there's a lot of one-hit wonders out there. And we don't want you to become a one-hit wonder. This second record's going to be crucial. If it goes to number two, I mean, you guys are, you guys are on the way. And Count Me In, uh, which uh, they record at the end, end of a recording session, a long, long, long recording session that went into the wee hours of the morning. Well, it eventually went to number two on Billboard's Hot 100. Did Save Your Heart From Me. I love that one. Summer 65 where he whistles Gary Lewis or somebody whistles into that record. Those whistling records were really, really pretty cool. The Happy Whistler. And uh, and then there was, uh, oh gosh, Everybody Loves a Clown, The Fall of 65, and She's Just My Style. Oh, that was a great record. Uh, there were four professional uh, session singers who sang on that record who, who ranged from Real bass, real low, she's just my style, all the way up to the soprano level. And then Sure Gonna Miss Her in early 66, and then one of my favorite Gary Lewis and the Playboys records, The Green Grass. Da, da, da. It's just a fantastic record. Spring, early summer 66. And then another one of my favorite records was written by Glenn Hart, Glenn Hart and uh, My Heart's Symphony. Did not make top 10 for Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Lovely record, though. Summer 66. Maybe going to the fall of 66 by Gary Lewis and the Playboys. And now you don't have to paint me a picture. It was written by Snuffy, written by Snuff Garrett, the producer Snuff Garrett, Roger Tillman, and Leon Russell, who produced it. So it did go top 10 in Canada. Went to number 9. Here in the States, it went to number 15. Was it, it's a Lost 45 by Gary Lewis and the Playboys. You seldom hear on the Odie stations anymore. And, uh, which is a shame. It's a good record, good upbeat record. And, uh, that's it. That's all I got to say about this record is that number doing pretty well, doing good on WJRD survey at number 12. The survey, the top 11 plus 50 survey of October 31st, 1966.